hey, uh, how's it going? It's um, Palm Love Across America, day nine. Uh, this is our evening dedication. We are in Evansville, Indiana. We uh, today crossed over from Illinois. Um, it is our fourth state we've been in. Uh, we started in Wisconsin. We rolled all the way through Illinois into Missouri for, for our days in St. Louis. Came back into Illinois, um, across the Mississippi, uh, and then and, and then today we crossed a river, the name of which I can't remember, um, to get here to Indiana. It was really cool because um, I got to hand it to you, Indiana. The roads here are really nice, and the roads in the in the part of in Illinois that we were in were not really nice at all. Um, it's pretty cool when you move from state to state, county to county, um, to see how the roads are different. Um, we are, of course, riding in honor of cancer kids. Um, we are riding in service of the mission of the Pablo Foundation, um, which is an organization that my wife Joanne and I founded when our son Pablo was diagnosed in 2008 with Wilms tumor. Um, Pablo passed away on June 27, 2009, and um, in his passing, um, put a nuclear uh, reactor inside of me that um, has not seen any um, limits um, since his passing in terms of my, my desire to uh, use my bike and my voice um, to help kids with cancer and their families. My wife Joanne um, is in the exact same category. She is the executive director of the foundation and and we um, devote all of our lives to helping other people um, and it's the only thing that I know how to do. I can't speak for Joanne because she's not here. Um, she speaks very well for herself but I can tell you that it's all I know how to do and I won't stop doing it. Um, at night, which is uh, where we are right now, we dedicate our resting hours to children who, like our son Pablo, um, haven't made it through cancer treatment, who, who in fact lost their lives to cancer. Um, this is a real honor. Uh, every every night on this on this bike tour, to to honor children and their parents and their siblings. Um, it's not something I take lightly, as you can imagine, since I myself am a father who has lost not only his son, but his brother to cancer. Uh, tonight, we dedicate our resting hours to a little boy named Connor Stell, who had leukemia, was diagnosed in 2009, and passed away October 13, 2010, just one year ago. It's one, was it one year ago today? Uh, is, is what I'm thinking it is, or, or maybe it was two days ago. I'm not too good with the dates right now. Um, Connor and his family uh, lived in Smithfield, North Carolina, uh, an area of the country that we've never been to uh, on our bikes, and we are um, sending lots of love. Uh, we are opening our hearts um, to the Stell family. We are honoring Connor's um, memory tonight and all that he is and all that he was uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Connor uh, and in doing so I'm going to tell you a little bit about all little boys who are four years old he loves sports and motorcycles and hunting and helping his mom with chores around the house uh, he loved construction which is a, a favorite of mine um, what's a favorite of Pablo's as well putting things together and knocking them down um, and, and um, his mom said something about him that um, just uh, is so incredibly true uh, of every cancer kid that I've seen who is um, in the trenches. And um, it's very touching to see her words um, because I feel the same way about my son, which is that uh, she said she couldn't have asked for a better son and that he fought 
the best fight he could until the end. And this is the thing about kids. Um, unlike adults uh, with cancer um, who have to be concerned about their jobs, they're sometimes parents or sometimes they're people's bosses and they might be very angry about what's going on in their lives. Children don't have any of that stuff. All kids want to do is they want to play. Whether they're 4 or 14, they want to play and interact with life in whatever way that kids do at that age, whether they're 4 or 14 or 18. And they aren't worried about the electric bill and who's going to do my job if I can't do it and, you know, is my husband or wife mad at me. Kids just want to be there in the moment when the doctors and nurses walk out of the room, they're looking back at the TV, watching Spongebob or whatever cartoon they love, playing with whatever toy they're playing with. And um, Connor um, sounds like he was very much uh, that kind of dude. So tonight, um, we're going to be sleeping. Um, this is my pillow right here. Um, here in Indiana, our first night in Indiana. And... Uh, We'll be thinking of Connor Stell and his family in North Carolina. So good night.